rang out at Club Rain. What I'm saying, what's the problem, sir? What's your... Tonight, we're learning more about the victims of a deadly shooting in Polk County. Later. Officers don't know if multiple shooters... And make no mistake about it, there's nothing about politically correct in a gunfight. Shot fired. Get on the ground. Well, why did y'all shoot my son still? I want to know what gave you the right to shoot my son. Hear the gunshots on this video recorded by a tourist. Watch as the suspect, Ernest Hayes, who police say was avoiding arrest. There's nothing about politically correct when you're keeping people alive and well and safe. And, and we're not getting that in return. And it's, and it's starting to take its toll, and it's really concerning me. You start pointing guns at us, you can not only plan on, but you can guarantee we're going to shoot you. They say officers bleed blue. They're dedicated to keeping all of us safe, oftentimes risking their own lives. However, this isn't how they're being perceived recently. With the rise of social media networks like Facebook and Twitter, it's becoming more difficult to sort fact from opinion and misinformation. Today we'll take a closer look at how the Polk County Sheriff's Office has dealt with this challenge and what they're doing to reach out to the community. We'll also explore Kathleen High School's Criminal Justice Academy and see how the younger generation is learning to understand and respect law enforcement. We use social media every day, and many companies and organizations, including law enforcement, have also started using platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to reach out and communicate with their customers and community. The Polk County Sheriff's Office has been using social media for years to directly deliver information, and they credit this as the reason why citizens in Polk County stay more informed and why faulty information isn't given a chance to spread. There is such a focus on social media and the information that comes out on social media is not always correct. Mm -hmm. The individuals posting on social media do not have uh, all of the factors or all of the information needed to make an informed decision. And sometimes I think the youth are looking at that as credible information when it's not. I believe uh, social media has to, and the news has to do a lot with that. You know, they show more of the bad stuff. Um, you know, uh, the mistakes police officers make instead of the good and I think social media sees the negativity of that and seem to think that that's what all, all law enforcement does. There is a concern that there's a generation up and coming because they are on social media so much and they believe everything they see. So what that has to do for us is that has to make us work harder, especially on social media, to counteract the negative stuff they're seeing. In TV shows and movies, law enforcement officers may appear to be above the law, but in real life, they simply are not, because they have to follow the same rules as everyone else. I believe, yes, that we are held to a higher standard, um, and at the same time, we may think it's not fair at times, but honestly, we do have a lot of power in our job. So yes, we do need to be held to that higher standard. Law enforcement officers take an oath to protect and to serve. We have very high standards when we hire somebody. We do a background check, we do a polygraph. Integrity is our number one thing that we recruit for and we look for. If you break a law and you work here at the Sheriff's Office, you will be arrested. We will immediately do a news release, tell the media, tell the public, communicating with the public, being transparent, being open and honest is something that every law enforcement agency should do. There's so much content online that is spread through social media, and not all of it is true. Oftentimes what may seem real is really a part of the story, and the spread of these partial facts can quickly cause an uproar in a community and even a nation. I think that when you look across the nation and you see stories that paint law enforcement in a negative light, you can't look at this as one big picture of what's going on. You have to look at each individual scenario. Each time something happens at a law enforcement agency that puts that agency in a negative light, here at our agency, we dissect that. We take it apart, we put it back together, and we ask ourselves, what would we do in that situation? The Polk County Sheriff's Office works to give back to the community and raise awareness about the positive differences that law enforcement brings. Through events like Jeeping with Judd, where Grady Judd takes people mudding and on the trail with their Jeeps, of course. They also hold fundraisers, like the spaghetti dinner held here in South Florida. All the proceeds went to help the explorers. 
Um, we try to change the perception of law enforcement by um, setting up activities around the county, like Jeeping with Judd, uh, being on social media, and helping out with the parades around the cities and the county. We have a social media page, um, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all of these different areas. And what we try to do is we try to get the information out to the public um, about the investigations um, that are ongoing within our community. The effort to shed positive light into our community has made its way into our local school system. Here at Kathleen's Criminal Justice Program, the instructors are working hard to change the perspective of our youth, even training some to become local law enforcement officers one day. This class prepares students for field work in the law enforcement career and security cluster um, by teaching them the basics of criminal law, civil law, and then actual hands-on applications of law enforcement such as defensive tactics, traffic stops, uh, and many other types of uh, law enforcement related uh, activities. A lot of different situations and a lot of different techniques to handle those situations, so whatever comes up I'll know what to do. Uh, this class has prepared me to be a police officer in the future because it gives us scenarios that are what the police officers do on a daily basis and it gives us uh, the regulations and rules of what what to do and what not to do. Uh, this class has a change perception because I've had a positive one throughout my life because my father's a police officer and he's taught me that uh, police officers are very humble and they do what they have to do to be able to protect the citizens or protect themselves. But, you know I try to uh, make them smile, even make them laugh, you know make them feel comfortable around me so they can tell me what how can I help them and you know we try to show them respect so we can earn their respect and you know we try to show them that we do care you know we really do care you know, we're out here doing our jobs but you know I mean our um, we want to have a good relationship with them. Do you have any message for the kids and adults watching this that are still against law enforcement? I do I think the biggest message is we are on your side we are there to help you and assist you when needed but when someone makes a mistake, our job is to protect society. And we have to, uh, through the laws of the state and, and through the constitutional laws of this nation, we have to uh, provide our communities and our state and our nation with safety and security. I'm just telling them, you know, give us a chance. Like I work at school resource, I love kids, you know, and I'm trying to show them a different side of us, of law enforcement, that we're not always straight arrow. You know, we, we have feelings, you know, we can understand kids, you know, and just gives a fair chance and, you know, we can show you different that not all enforcement is bad. They're there, number one, to protect you and keep you safe. Number two, to try to show you a positive role model. That deputy is someone you can go to with any issue or any problem. I know some of these school resource deputies, they do so many things with these kids and they're such positive influences. And if you think about that one deputy, he or she is an example of the 600 plus deputies we have out there. I could put any deputy in any school today and they would be just as good as that school resource deputy. They're there because they care about you. They're the ones who are running in when everyone's running out to safety. They're the ones that would take a bullet for you no matter what. Under the leadership of Sheriff Grady Judd, the Polk County Sheriff's Office has implemented strategies to keep the community informed via social media. The efforts to maintain open communication to the public have resulted in a strong positive image of the department. Programs like Kathleen High School's Criminal Justice Academy are teaching our generation that law enforcement officers have a duty and code that they must uphold. Without them, our county could be a much more dangerous place.